One of the most common questions I get asked on my electrical videos is, can I convert a two-way switch into a three-way circuit? And that is, I want to add another switch to control the same light from two different places. In my last video, I went into great detail showing how three and four-way circuits work. So if you missed that video, just click the card in the top corner and watch it now because this video builds on that one. Now, first of all, the method I'm gonna show you will only work if you have a neutral wire in the current switch box, like in this diagram. You need to open the switch and look at the wiring. If you see at least two white wires connected together and not to the switch, you should be good. If you only have one white wire and it's connected to the switch, like in this diagram, then it's not a neutral and this method won't work for you. So the first thing you're gonna do is actually replace that switch with a three-way switch. Uh, let me draw the box here for you to see. Okay, you're gonna put another box in someplace else. And what are you gonna do? You're gonna put in a, what I'll call a satellite switch over there. And you're gonna run three conductor wire between them. You'll see this is labeled as 14-3 or 12-3. The 14 and the 12 say what gauge the wire is. 14 gauge is appropriate for 15 amp circuits. 12 gauge needs to be used for 20 amp circuits. The two brass screws are gonna get connected to the black and the red wires. And these are travelers, so these travelers have to go over to the other switch. And this white wire is the one that you're gonna to connect to the common. And now this is the way that I do it. This isn't necessarily the way your electrician did it when your house was wired. So they could use white and black for travelers and the red one could be the common one coming back. It doesn't matter. What matters is you need to know how this functions so that you can troubleshoot and replace switches, etc. But if you want to add this switch, this is how I recommend doing it. Just keep the convention. The red and black are your travelers. All right. And in this case, the white one coming back is going to be connected to this common. So the real question is, okay, so how do I wire the light now at this point? Now this white wire is going to be repurposed as a hot wire because depending upon the switch and the way it's sitting, power will come down this white wire and that's what will turn on this light. For clarity, I showed the neutrals in here and they're under a wire nut. So you're gonna connect the neutrals under a wire nut and you're gonna connect the other one under a wire nut. Now, a lot of people will look at this and they'll see, oh, I've got three white wires. They must all be neutrals. Let me connect them all together. Well, what's that gonna do? That's gonna create a short. In this situation, we've repurposed that white wire as a hot conductor. The best practice when you're gonna do that, you wanna remind yourself and whoever comes along after you that you've repurposed that white wire. So the best practice is to put an indicator on it. And you could use either black tape or even a black Sharpie, whatever the case may be, just something to let the next person know that that's not a neutral wire. It's separate from the other ones. Now that it's all wired up, with this in the down position, the power comes down the black wire. But because this one is in the down position, it's connecting the red wire to this white one. Well, there's no power there. So that's why the light is off. And if you flip the switch, it brings the power down the red wire. And that's why the light goes on. Now, I know there's someone out there who's going to say, oh, this is a code violation because there's no neutral in this box. And there always has to be a neutral in every switch box. Well, thankfully, NEC 404.2 says this situation is acceptable as long as one of the switches has a neutral. So this is absolutely compliant. Leave a comment if you have any questions, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and I'll see you in the next one. Hey there, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon to be the first to know when new videos are posted. Look for Handy Dad TV on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and visit the website handydad.tv for more great ideas and information.